Broadcasting live to tape from beautiful Monmouth County, New Jersey. We're on a clear night. You can almost see Rutgers Kev rush into the helicopter to fly to Charlotte. It's the Rutgers Kev Show. Kevin O'Keefe gets the win at Charlotte. Kevin O'Keefe is going to take his first win and only his third start in the series. Beautiful job for Kevin O'Keefe. <laughs> going to troll and, me for every Oh my gosh. Hey, yeah, Sean, take a look at his, uh, on his yeah. there. Very appropriate today. Oh, boy. I'm Matt Malone. I stream iRacing, but when I'm not racing, I'm listening to the Rutgers Kev Show with your host, Rutgers Kev. How does he have 38 viewers? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of the Rutgers Kev Show. This week, I finally bring you part three of my interview with Empty Box, Matt Orr. Uh, if you've been living in a cave, Matt Orr is one of the most uh, popular channels on YouTube, along with Jimmy Broadbent. He brings you a lot of uh, top-notch sim racing content, uh, most of it iRacing, but not exclusively uh, iRacing. Uh, he also does a lot of like helpful uh, content videos about, um, for instance, he has videos on how to set up your field of view, or just how a certain car drives in general, or just like the hybrid system on the LMP1 cars. Uh, speaking of the LMP1 cars, so let's talk about a little bit about real world racing. I watched the WEC as much as I could because they have it geo blocked here in uh, America. Unless you have the Velocity Channel, which I don't have because I don't have cable on purpose, I'm one of those cord cutters. You have to like, you have to resort to an illegal stream. I would love to pay them money for their app, but they won't let me because I'm an American. And I just don't see how that makes any sense from a, a racing perspective, from a growth of racing. Like, how are we ever going to get new fans if they can't even find it? That's disappointing. On the other, other side of the spectrum, 24 Hours of Nürburgring was last weekend, and that was streamed all free on YouTube with multiple camera angles. Uh, the commentary was Radio Le Mans. Sometimes the commentary didn't match up with what you see in the pictures. But, you know, all the, all the onboards you want, 24-hour stream, and not only that, but they stream the entire weekend's festivities. So all the support races, the classic 24 hours were all there. I mean, really, really great stuff. So WEC, what the heck you doing? Now watch this. Hello, everybody. Coming to you with a special channel announcement. Because of real-life obligations, I can't run the Indy 500 until Sunday morning. That means I'm doing the double. On May 20th, I'm running the Indy 500 at 10 o'clock Eastern. And then I'm running in the Major Series World 600 at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Yes, that's both full-length races on the same day. That's called the double. Tune in. The plan is, of course, everything's going to be streamed on Twitch. And if there's any cautions, I'm going to be playing music during the cautions. And then at the end of it, if I'm not too lazy, I'm going to edit out all the cautions and I'm going to upload it to YouTube uh, caution free so you can just uh, get the full experience in maybe a shorter period of time so twitch if you want to tune in live you want to chat with me you want to help me with the fuel please god help me with the fuel uh, tune in live on twitch 10 o'clock eastern on sunday may 20th or eight eight o'clock at night may 20th or of course you can tune in on youtube watch it there okay hey call the show you turkeys it's time for the Rutgers Kev interview, where Rutgers Kev does an interview. So my car Anyways. got hit. So my car got hit recently. Did you guys hear that's this? Good. No, I didn't. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. So the, again, this is what I call Rutgers Kev luck, where I have bad. The podcast, by the way, is spiraling out of control of any subject matter. What's oh well? Yeah, I think it, I think that happened after the Star Wars conversation. <laughs> well, this is, this is this is this is this is all this is all part three where <laughs> for the banter. Right. Uh, part three is the banter segment. Um, yeah. So I I'm a block away from the courthouse in Newark, New Jersey. Right. And there's a there's a bus stopped on the side of the road and he's you know it's like and they're stopped at a bus stop right but there's plenty of room for it to to get by the bus and the car in front of me is just sitting there waiting for the bus to load and unload the right as i start to like honk my horn at that guy for him to go the guy behind me gets impatient and pulls out and when he pulls out he hits me right the right. guy was late for court for a traffic ticket <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> right. So, you know, so I asked him, you know, do you have insurance? And the guy goes, yeah, I just got insurance because I got this ticket for having no insurance. Well, that's handy. Yeah, so there you go. And he hands me the ticket. <laughs> right? So, but in New Jersey, they have a special kind of insurance. If you're on Medicaid, you actually have insurance, but you don't have any liability insurance. And the rest of the country or world just cannot understand this concept. I've right. talked about, I've talked about it on Discord. It. Can you explain it to me? Well, you're required to have insurance, right, for your car. You understand that part, right? Yes. Okay. So poor Speaking people. So poor people. You don't need to explain it. Oh. You you really don't. Okay. No, no one listening to this podcast wants you to explain the. <laughs> well, maybe they do because the rest of the, the, I mean, I was argued with so many times. It's like, well, if he has insurance, he has to have liability insurance. And I was like, no, he doesn't. So, I'm out five hundred dollars, but I think I have something that's uninsured, underinsured property damage on my policy. So I think I'm going to get it back, but. Uh, it may take three months for me to get it back. We'll Just lawyer things. We'll find out. I hope I don't have to sue the guy. You know how that much of a, really you'll have a good lawyer, right? You know how much of a hassle it, it it really is to sue somebody. Oh, I know. It's, it's not worth even as a lawyer. It's not worth it. My, it's the principle of the thing. I bought an Obato from Texas Sim Racing in 2009 and got ripped off. You recall Texas Sim Racing? They, I don't even think vaguely. They yeah, yeah. They the ones that were ripping people off and right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I could have sued the guy to got my five hundred fifty dollars, and I didn't do it because it's like it's just not worth it. And this is from a lawyer. But it's the principle, man. And I mean, we all know that the mention, American court system needs some more uh, frivolous lawsuits. It's also entirely possible you take the guy to court, win, and then he just never pays anyways. Exactly. You're not going to draw blood from a stone. Yep. <laughs> what kind of saying is that? You never heard that before? <laughs> yeah, no. Heard that before. <laughs> Can't draw blood from a stone. It's, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. But, but, basically, but you can draw blood with a stone. If you hit someone hard enough. Yeah, but not from a stone. All right, yeah, I've heard of David. <laughs> uh, empty, Just what kind reference. of... Go ahead. You, you, go saw, ahead. you saw that same car empty? What, what are you driving? A car. All right, I think it was, wheels. wasn't it a... Uh, I think it was a Saturn when you did the video to no. go into... No. It was you. No. I remember me and Josh figured it out. By you the had like a pretty basic car. Uh, I mean, see, Matt's Matt's pretty tight lipped about. Okay, all of this. okay. Well, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, be, what if be... somebody like notices me or something? Like, that's <laughs> you, like, does your license plate empty day. box? <laughs> like that'd be like. I, I I just can't fathom it. It's just like, I mean, like sometimes like. You know, at work, I'll have to, like, sign for a package or whatever, and you'll see, like, they'll kind of look at you funny, like, they recognize you or they know you or something. I'm like, I don't recognize you. I didn't go to school with you. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm like, you, you don't you don't know. Has anyone has anyone in public ever figured out who you are? No. Thank goodness not. Really? No. Jeez. He doesn't have his face out there. I have. I yeah. I, I... No, right, but his voice is pretty... Uh... Indicative and like you said, occasionally you sign for a package or whatever. No, like a delivery I, I mean, guy. come on. I mean, if he was in a more populated state, maybe. Well, I... here's, the, here's the thing. Like when I went to Long Beach a handful of years ago, people. Uh, I met a guy, and when, when I was talking to him, it was, a, it was an iRacer racer who was running at the uh, the Star Mazda uh, booth at uh, Long Beach. When I introduced myself to him, because he's like the quickest guy there, and I was like, you know, I was like, by the way, my, you know, I'm Randy Chen. Because I I don't know why, but I introduced myself with my last name. He's like, "Are you the guy from the empty box box videos?" I was like, "Yeah, I am actually." No, I I I'm incognito. I mean, the the most communication I've had with anyone in sim racing in like the real world was uh when I went to Sebring, some guy had an i racing hat, and I told him he had a nice hat on, and I I don't think he even heard me because like the cars were going by were right, right like right before the break zone for the hairpin so it was like really loud so but yeah 
I was with so my old guy. Out there, man. That guy who, who's like, who is that guy who told me I had a nice hat like four years ago? <laughs> who is that? Now you know. He's now the guy he, who knows be, what I look he's like. He's going to be running through his memory. Like, oh my God. And your luck is going to be like a, a court like sketch artist. He's like, I'm going to draw the, this. Everyone's going to know what empty box looks like. Hopefully it's the guy that uh, did the sketch for Tom Brady. <laughs> I was with my wife and this kid approached us and said, excuse me, are you Rutgers Kev? And my wife burst out into laughter. Like it was the funniest <laughs> thing she's ever, she was literally like doubled over in laughter. See, you know, I, th this is why I don't do the face cam or any of that. Cause I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it's Matt just one of those things, man. Matt would do the face cam and you would encounter Matt in public and you'd recognize the face and the voice is like one of a kind. And he would no, still tell you no. That is correct. <laughs> that is very much correct. So who knows? You could have asked someone, are, are you empty box? And they could have said no. And it very well could have been me. And you just don't know about it. All right. I mean, that is definitely the way I roll. All right. So empty. First endurance race with day and night. Come on. We have to, we have to do it. Us, the three of us. Come on. Come on, Empty. You've Matt, promised. Matt you promised, Empty. As soon Matt, as you said, as soon already, as soon as they got to, day and night. See how long Matt's we could say. we can make Rutgers Kev beg. Beg. You know, Come on, Empty. Like... Well, I already know what Matt's going to say because he left New Orleans in sport for the same reason. Uh, I Matt. left. Um. Uh -huh. What New Orleans in sport? What do you mean? What do, What do you mean left? Uh oh. You'll have I mean, been banned. Like, what do you What do you mean? User has kicked you from the server. I mean, you if left. I, if I recall, not to not to go that whole whole way, you know, because I really don't like talking about it. But if you go to my YouTube channel and you look at the channel background artwork on the channel page, what will you see? It's probably going to be a New World Sin Sport. You're, are you still? Oh yeah, the flag? It, it, still it's flying still the flag? it's still that Delara DW12 with the New World Sin Sport, <laughs> you know, livery okay. with race bot so, branding on the side, you know. Well, you with, sort of you did that. sort of pull yourself out though because we started doing the endurance stuff. Oh and you're no, like, no, y'all y'all just y'all just moved on and and disappeared yeah, we in to, the we distance without me. No. You want to yeah. join Chimera? Yeah, you, you, you guys. You guys went to Phoenix and didn't tell me, and I was just like, "Oh well, okay." <laughs> See, I remember it very differently. But if you want to, yeah, if you, you want to come to, if you want to come to Chimera, I can get you a spot. Oh yeah, with me yeah. and Josh Chin. Oh great! Me and, that means me I'll Josh... that me that me every time we're in the same race, I end up crashing and losing I rating. No, like, that's it, fine. It's the, that's that's fine. But I can get it, you top serious. split. That I won't happen on team. Sets. I qualified 14th for the Indy 500 last year. So does no, that interest you? Let's let's be Good real. If you put me and Josh Chen on on the same team, somehow the Josh Chen I rating fund has to be donated to from my account, <laughs> and like I would lose I rating, he'd gain I rating somehow through the system, even though we're on the same team. Like it, it's just how things work. It's no I rating and team racing, you know that. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. No, there's not yes, anymore. There they reverted that. Oh my goodness! You I can't keep that? up with these changes. No, they. <laughs> I shouldn't I probably shouldn't There's never been I, I rating but, and team rate. You can't you can't gain or lose. No, no, but they, they the, implemented there, there was. It. They so this is what this is what happened. They had a mistake. No, they didn't have a mistake. They uh there was a discussion on the forums about splitting issues with the endurance races because the current system is legitimately retarded. It's really retarded. Yeah, it's and, re capital uh, R. Yeah, capital R, capital E retarded. Yep. Um Anyways, carrying on. By the way, I just asked in our team chat, by the way, Matt, if you could join. And Josh just said, what the fuck is this? Neural Sport V2. Um, but anyways, carrying on. Matt uh, gets the automatic invite. I just sit here. Yeah, that's right. We only, we only accept people. All right, fine. Well, I'm just going to run Why Me Motorsports with my subscribers with their 1500s. We'll be Meanwhile, fine. Meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and form a team with my subscribers. Congratulations. You're going to have Tim. Hey, that's fine by me as long as we have fun, man. <laughs> have fun, exactly. Remember, so come on, Empty. You you you, 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 you got to run with us. I'm just one of those those lowly scrubs. Oh, you know? let's go back. You're not a let's, lowly. let's go back. Come on, with the day and night. You said once they got day and night, you would be, you would you would do it. Come up with another excuse. 
I'm I'm practicing for my 2024 presidential uh, uh, nomination run, you know, with my uh, hot dog and blanket platform. Yeah, from, from uh, the I can really party. Confirm nor nor deny these allegations. He will 100% come up with another excuse. Come on. You know, I really think that until they implement the full weather system, yeah. oh including, boy. including cloud cover track, until, and we need fog, rain, yeah, wind, sure. humidity levels, yeah, and, and all that. There's, until there's I, an I ecology really and there's like yeah. wildlife. Next yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's there's got to be a wallaby on the track. Without a kangaroo, it's just, right. Just exactly. Yeah, have right. Have wildlife. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Until there's uh, you know, beer. Until there's actual beer drinking at the Watkins Glen race. I mean, yeah. Until, that's... until there's a bus being burned, until there's rockets right. launching <laughs> from Sebring. Right. <laughs> Actually, I had a I had a conversation. I told Tony Gardner they should implement that as a as a as a uh, little Easter egg because we interviewed Tony for Peak on Tuesday, and I told him I was like, "You guys need to put rockets launching from the Sebring night layout that happens like once every so often." You know, when you said rockets, <laughs> you like... want to know. Fun question was, here, Matt. I just I was, so I asked Josh. I asked in our team chat, "Can Empty Box join our team?" And he said, "What is the New York Sims for, for V2?" And then his next comment was, "Better question is, is Matt actually running team races?" <laughs> this, this I, I guess I'm meme. somewhat. This is I guess I'm meme. somewhat notorious, huh? But, you, but anyways, when you said rockets, you know, I, I, I just thought all of a sudden we're going to have guys on trackside, you know, just launching RPGs at you and you got to like dodge around them. No, and no, that'd no, be no. really cool, actually. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to turn this into Fallujah. <laughs> I mean, it would definitely spice up the race. It, I mean, it would, but. I mean, you know how Mario Kart has the blue shell that homes in well, on you? I mean, you we already like, have that you, in Rally you're Cross. Screwed. You I mean, Rally Cross. you just throw that blue tire barrier we, behind you. No, we, we banned Scott Speed. All right, we got Scott Speed banned. The blue shell is no more. You know, it's just the tire stacks was just really getting your way. Yep. But I mean, you, you got to have the homing missile thing. And I think if we have the RPGs, you know, being launched at you from trackside, if you get a little bit too far ahead, you can make for some more competitive races. And, you know, going back to the uh, topic of this uh, podcast, you know, because that's Wendy's? very important with this podcast, Wendy's. that's a way you could definitely bring in, you know, the, the outside crowd. Because, I mean, if... If you just love slowly the turn eye racing into twisted metal, it's like yes. the theme at the at the theme parks. Like if you pay a dollar, then you can spray water on people when they're on the roller coasters. I will say though, Matt, you know, and you'll you will remember this very vividly from. Hey, that, it's a new so, way for eye racing to make money. I was going to say you'll remember this from that Proto GT season. Some of those green, white, and red HPDs were like homing missiles on wheels. Green, white, and red. Hmm. I don't remember too many problems with the HPD. You don't, you don't that remember season. Marco? It was some of the Radicals cars too, like Mac. That was the season Mac really came out. Oh well, that that was just. I mean, Mac is gonna Mac, and that that's what he is. That's I mean, that's what he was doing back then. He's not. No, he's, I, not I, he's not been I, smack whack him nearly as much as he used to be. Well, I mean, when you when you mention that name though, uh, uh, Marco. I, I don't remember from that series, but I remember shortly thereafter, and I wonder if we're thinking about the same guy. And yeah, yeah I, I what, definitely. What you mean know when I got flipped about. over at Sebring? That uh, you're thinking of? No, but I do vaguely remember this Marco just like shoving his O'Connor? HPD right up yeah. the backside of uh, the roof C spec. <laughs> I was driving at Phillip Island. Just I don't like, remember that one. Not yeah. even close. No, yeah, Marco was... used to be really bad. He's better now, but. So, hi, Marco. <laughs> In before protests. Uh, I mean, how many Marcos are there? I mean... Uh, it could have been Marco Andretti. No. I'm... And IndyCar Mar- drivers, Marco, IndyCar Marco drivers Andretti, are let's be known... real. If he was Marco Andretti, he, he would not be lapping anyone. He'd be getting lapped. Yeah, maybe. Shots fired. But hey, at least he's got an excuse this year because he's being sponsored by a concrete company. I find that one oddly, oddly fitting. All right, Empty, uh, can I interest you in the Major Series? Do you know about this? Oh, God. That's not a league guy, dude. Unless it's like some random, like, uh, 
R Factor or whatever F1 league where all the cars are like different performance and some of them are really bad and the other ones are good. There's the oh, only don't league even, Matt don't likes even, to run in. Don't even remind me of that series. <laughs> Those and, arguments on your comments and, no, and whatnot. And, and that whole thing is why I don't want run league races and you know because in, in that case you know I was really excited to do it but then you know my work schedule you know kind of changes up and and falls around do, different anyways? things i don't think you've ever said we need to get that out of you i i've said i've what, said what do you before do? what do you do I'm, I'm you obviously out. host a morning drive show for zoo 100 radio now see i'm at i'm testing how how much of a fan you are I don't you watch know? very. I'll be honest. I don't watch very much because I know you. Uh-huh. Like, I don't need to be a fan. I, you stalking I'm me. A, I'm not a fan. You because me. I'm a friend. That's why you want me on your team so bad. <laughs> yeah, you can't be right. any worse than Simon. Matt, I mean, ch- check out this though. Okay, the major series. Okay, two point four hours with the. Here we go. Two point four hours with the camel cars. Okay, then the Daytona five hundred. Then the yeah, silver the crown at Phoenix. Because I racing won't give us well, a low friction brake compound. Then the Silver Crown at Phoenix. Then the Sports Car Showdown at Circuit of Americas. Then the 2.4 Hours of Nuremberg. Then the Coke 600. Then the Indy 500. 2.4 Hours of the Nuremberg Trials. Well, Uh, yes, Nuremberg. Right, I see. Yes. Uh, The Lotus 79 at Silverstone. Uh, 2.4 Hours of Spa. Pocono 500 with the Indy Cars. Knoxville Nationals. Suzuka in the um, current F1 car, Bathurst 500, and the uh, Myrtle Beach 400, which is basically Homestead in the Cup cars. Like, how cool! Myr- Myrtle Beach is not basically Homestead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even <laughs> close. It is, different. but I thought we we're running Homestead. So they named the race the. No, Myrtle we're Beach running Myrtle Beach. Race, okay, yeah. okay, I t- I got it. I got it wrong. It's the limited late model at Myrtle Beach. The it's limited amazing. late model. It says limited name on it. It says limited late model. They probably are just like potatoes and accidentally named the regular late model that because there is a limited limited late model, but that's the dirt car. Yeah, but then you get the people that are like, oh well, in my portion of oh of, yeah, in my country, country, that's an outlaw this is called late model, and in your <laughs> part of the country, this is a bomber stock, and in but, this person's but part but that's of the a country, pro late model. Yes, <laughs> no, yes. no, that that's a super late model. No, it has an air cleaner exposed. It can't be a super late <laughs> model. Oh, Reese no. can. <laughs> I still wish they had released that one. So running off that schedule has no interest? You have no interest in that? Matt's going to say the races sound cool, but he has no interest in league racing. That's what Matt's going to say. I like how I'm so notorious. <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> like I just know. We've had these conversations with you in the past. I mean, yeah, it's an interesting schedule, but, you know, I mean, you know, I'm the type of person where I just kind of go from one thing to the next and just really whatever. But this is exactly I mean, that, because you're going from one car to the next. Yeah, yeah but, but it's, you, it's, you've but got these big events, limited, and, like, you have, to, you have to plan for them and everything, and, like, you have to actually make an honest effort rather than, you know, I mean, I seriously, like, practice generally about 10 minutes before a race and then i just go because that's just what i want to do you know if i feel like racing something i jump in and and go whereas you know when you're talking about league racing or a schedule like that you know if you're just not feeling like it that week you know it's like well i guess i have to do this even though you're not really having fun I, I learned okay. a long time ago that scheduled races and me just generally do not work out all that well. Although I do have a feeling there might be a race this May in sim racing land that I might compete in. But well, if you can get a I thought if you can, can get a top crash. fourteen qualifying setup from somebody, hot diggity dog, I'll help you with this setup, and it'll come oh, from yeah. good people. Hey, hey, man, I I remember when we. Uh, the DW12 first came out, and we uh, worked on setups for the Open Series. <laughs> yeah, that lasted about a week until you and I were like, this uh, makes us hate life. It was about two weeks. <laughs> was it two? I, yeah, could... we did Iowa, and we did Michigan. It, no, no, it was it was uh, Michigan, which was the first week. Yeah, and I'm proud to second. say, I think I was like, I won the second or third uh, Open what? Series race ever in that car. And yes, that was the top split, and there's actually some pretty handy drivers in there. 
which like that's my crowning achievement within <laughs> iRacing. Can I just mention that I won the Indy 500? I just want to throw that in. Yeah, like yeah, cool. The upteenth <laughs> split. It was in 2010, and it was split four. Okay. But this was a the, you the they we were graded by qualifying time, I think, back then. Kevin, Kevin, there's a reason you're the only one who remembers this. How how does how, how does that PDF no, it, what, make you feel? It wasn't in 2011. It wasn't. It was in 2011. I mean, I'm a series champion. I was I was going to ask you that. Have you ever won a series championship? I was going to ask you that. Yeah, I was the I, the 2013 season two I racing Proto GT four GT there you Division go. two champ. Yeah, right here man. Okay, well you, you're well, you're talking you know to you are in you were in the presence. Of the 2013 season four Grand Am Daytona Pro Prototype Champion Division Six. Yeah. All right. How does that All right? PDF make you feel? I actually put it. I actually put my PDFs in my office when I was a prosecutor, like on oh the wall. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I would walk out. Time if I was time a... trial champion, and then I would put because I wasn't good enough. <laughs> I would. They actually give it to you for your for your club and stuff. So I actually put like the club certificates. I'd like rather walk into a lawyer's office and see like Mormonism. This was a stuff. prosecutor's yeah. office, so it's not like you have clients and stuff, you know. So, but no, uh, if you actually, if you want my setup, Matt, that I ran in Daytona or in uh, at India, it's probably out there because when I logged into the race I did on Friday night because I broadcasted the big Saturday race, I uh, I had my spotter open. <laughs> I had a lot of crew team crew members on my team during that race. The people wow. that I got my setup from were not too happy. So they could come in and take your and setup? That was, and that was in the Indy car? Yeah, that was the race setup. And I was running top 10 in that Friday night top split. Or no, top 15. Because I was being patient. I had a lot of a lot of arrow on the car to be safe. And then I wrecked under in the pits. Because I'm, I'm literally the worst. Congratulations. I mean... But yeah, but I put myself... It's not even difficult to get into the pits there, for crying out loud. No, 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 no. I wrecked coming out. I spun as I was Oh, my yeah. I, yeah. I think I put, like, the left, like, as I was throttling up, the left rear was on the concrete, and the right rear was on the asphalt, and it, like, sucked the, le- the right end around. That Probably right where that bump is, right when no, you... It was, uh... No, it was, like, as I was exiting the pit box. Like, not the pit. Oh. Yeah, when he, when he got back on the gas. I would like, assume. Like, literally, as I was throttling the car up. Uh, right. You know, I was bragging about my road win percentage before. Matt has 11.94 percentage. Well, yeah, because Matt like does random stuff with a God bunch of people it. that are you know mediocre at best. This year he has thirteen starts. He's Truly, got a twenty. He's got a twenty-three percent win back. percentage. You have thirteen starts and seven top fives, Matt. I mean, see, going back to earlier, you guys thinking I probably race more than I do. I have thirteen starts so far this season, this year. Yeah, that's more than me. Yeah, but you do a bunch of other sims, so like you drive a lot. Same with Jimmy. Jimmy drives not a lot, as but much as you probably racing. think, but I do you, drive. A YouTube, all right, guys, a guys, this is super fun. We need, need to do this again, but it's also twelve fourteen in the morning. Yeah, so on it's eleven weekend. fourteen in the in the. It's in nine the fourteen. There is no such thing as weekends when you have kids. Well, that was your fault for having kids and trying yeah, to do a well, podcast yeah. while trying to do sim racing. This is what you just need to be introverted and have a more successful YouTube channel. Learn be from committed. I know. Well. We're, we're we're working on the second part of that. Be committed to the single life is working out for me and Matt, right, Matt? Uh, sure. Oh wait, oh oh, uh oh. Oh, maybe maybe there's some uh, <laughs> miss empty. Uh, no, I just said yeah, sure. Is there a it's, it's is there a well. miss? We could be a Mister Empty. We're open. We're open. Mm, like, we're open. Wow. Yeah, sure. Okay, there, Darren. What? Yeah. What? Not that he there's said, anything wrong with that. He said. He said. Not that there's empty, anything wrong with that. But no, empty. Wait, are you implying that you're dating Darren? No, no. That would be. That would be Darren weird. A relationship. That would be very weird on basically every front. No, I, you, you just said you know the single life is working out. I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, but that's the yeah, sure. Of, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely it's... not single. I'm no, getting wrecked, no, Randy. It's... No, no, I'm I'm single. Can well, confirm, I'm single. I don't know how you're supposed to meet anybody, Randy. You you're, you if you're that? broadcasting six nights a week. Well, because I'm like hideous looking. So, oh well, oh. what am I gonna do? 
All right. All right. Now we're going. All right. Let's not go the, down the, uh, the we're all ugly and, road. Sim racing women. Yeah. Yeah. The, I'm, you know, the 0.001% of the market. I'll get one of them. It's all about them demographics, man. We had a, we did have a guy that creeped on Rachel at race uh, for a while. I'm sure. There's a woman streamer and some guy actually Are you waited. Sim racing girl or something? I think so. I, What's not going to go there? I, f- I feel uh, bad about that. So I feel bad I don't know her name. Anyway, so there's a clip. Um, she's driving around. She's just, up, she's just way. doing her normal thing, right? And she, she, she resets her car. There was a guy waiting for her at her pit stall, but facing the <laughs> other, the other <laughs> yeah, way. So, so, she, so they were basically looking in each other's eyes, and then he plays a, a careless whisper through the through – the, <laughs> Like, it was yeah, so, so was cringy. Great, I feel like, bad for this girl. Terrible. I feel bad for the girl. I mean, you're you're just like a regular everyday girl, and then you got to like deal with this. Is yeah, so though that was it because she's a girl, or because was it someone like because because I've seen people do that to male streamers too, and I've done that to people in pit road where I'll like I'll turn around and pull into their car like that. I only saw the clip, so I mean, I can only put it in that context. But it sounded like the guy was just trying to hit on her. I haven't, I haven't seen the I whole clip, I mean, so it very well it, is possible. If it's a known streamer, I mean, let's be real. I mean, people do silly things when they know they're on, on stream or, or on video or anything like that. Yeah. So, well, I mean, <laughs> it goes into the whole, you know, 2018 and all that. I found it. It was funny, but it's definitely kind of weird. I would just like to point out... All right, all right. Let's all right. just let's just go into real dudes, real cars, since we're already doing this. All right, Matt. So, uh, what what do you want to talk about in terms of a uh, real it's life? It's time for real dudes who get paid to drive real cars. Oh, Matt, what are your thoughts about you're, the? Uh, you're gonna try to get Matt to talk about real life. Have you not heard yeah, really. anything that he said? Matt, did you, you have any thoughts on the upcoming uh, uh, Indy uh, F1 season? Uh, but you, you know, almost think... had him interested, and then you said, "Yeah, you, you almost okay." I was going to go to IndyCar next. This is a segment. Oh, this is a segment now. Yeah, it's it's called you know, it's I... called it's called Real Dudes, Real Cars, where we talk about real racing and how it relates to fake racing. We're just doing it live. Here. And I just played the no. I just played the intro clip where I sang the theme song for it. Okay, but you guys, you, did, you guys didn't hear that. So. Anyway, I mean, so now we're in real dudes, real cars. So now we talk about geez, real I'm life. Trying to talk here, okay, man. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I thought the, the I thought this was the Rutgers Kev cars. show. Apo- apologies. I thought this was the Come Rutgers. On. We're not in the interview segment anymore. Okay, we're now we're in the Rutgers oh. Kev show. Did it, okay? did anybody uh, get that memo that we are no longer in the interview segment? I just told you we're doing real dudes, real cars now. Oh, and we're just supposed See, to assume that this was no longer the interview yeah, here's, segment. Here's the thing, Matt. <laughs> He knows how this like podcast is going to work, so he thinks everyone else is going to. I just told you we're doing I'm real. D- a sidekick, and I have no idea. I just told you we're we're doing real dudes, real cars, where we talk about real racing and how it relates to fake racing. Now, Matt, go. I mean, this year in F1. Comment, should... Matt. Comment. Really? <laughs> comment, <laughs> comment. Comment. Really now. This year in F1, Force India is going to finish where? Fourth, uh, that's the that's the probably the right answer. Yeah, yeah it is because I mean, <laughs> but they're not going to way to go out on a limb. Be Mercedes, they're not going to beat Ferrari. You're and McLaren's going to be much better this year. So you're not exactly being Skip Bayless over there. I'm sorry. All right, all right. What, well, you, you, what were talking you about? F1. Tom what Brady's is not an F1. Ba- I, Skip Bayless about. I need I need your hot take. You have F1? a hot, You have a hot take on something. If if you want a hot take, you gotta ask him about the Halo. Oh yeah, I know what we're getting there. Gotta learn learn how to Train get hot wreck. take interviews. <laughs> we're getting there. You gotta. I went. To, we're doing the open wheels. F one season is starting. The week this comes out, all the paints are, are gonna be released and everything. I think. I think oh, that's how that works. Now you're just making things up as you go. Well, the McLaren. Okay, Matt, you were a painter. What do you think of the McLaren paint scheme that released? It is perfect, absolutely perfect. This is what we wanted. This is what it should have been. Why it was ever that stupid, stupid orange and black bull crap is beyond me. Hallelujah for going back to the classic, classic. See, Kevin, this you know, is how you run a podcast. Just, mm, All right, delicious. that's why. Well, your co-host, delicious. <laughs> 
got a I don't care if it's just like one color with a little bit of blue thrown on there. It is perfect. That is all they should have needed. That's all they do need. Should have been that way for like ever and ever and ever. Just like Ferrari and their red, you know. McLaren should always be that uh, lovely shade of orange. So yeah, I like it. Hold on. If, Hold on. Now I got to put it on. When you're dealing, when you're dealing with an introverted guest like Matt, you have to like get to the subjects that you know he's super, super like. Yeah. Okay. And, and for if, example, actually, you know. All right, I, Matt. What's your say, What's your rant on the on the Halo? Go. Uh, going Going back previous. No. Though, you said you wanted to. <laughs> you said you wanted to skip Bayless mode here. I'm yeah. going to go with a really unpopular opinion here because a lot of people seem to really like it. The new Red Bull paint scheme that they got going on, or I guess to be more correct, the livery, is incredibly ugly. I don't like. I've only seen the Toro Rosso one. Ugly as can be. No, that that was the Red Bull one that got released. I'm pretty sure that black and blue. Yeah, the black and blue Digicam. It just no. I haven't U-G-L-Y. seen it. I've only seen the Toro and Rosso. From a guy who's got camo on like all of his cars <laughs> even though i'm not like into camo splinter camo just looks so good so yeah hate me <laughs> anyway carrying on no hate actually that may have been toro Rosso. no it was red bull oh yeah because aston martin yep you're right yeah, I don't think the uh, Toro Rosso has been unveiled yet. See, it would. I think they're the probably suffering it, from. Uh, we got a Honda. Oh crap! We got a the, Honda. The problem with it is like a Digi camo is that it needs a third color to work because you've never seen a a, a dual colored Digi like you know any Digi camo that looks good. Yeah, and honestly, looks, I it think... has like three different colors, if not four, working with it, not just like blue on black. And plus, it's so dark anyways yeah like, three wide clear on the right two w- it's gonna end up looking like just a, a smudge of nothing it's just gonna end up looking like a dark blue car and if and i mean inverted... in photos it might look cool you know but at the same time you know in motion probably not so awesome if they inverted the colors and they made the white stuff black and the black stuff white it'd probably look way better because that blue is so dark that it would work well on a white backdrop, I think. And then you could have the text just in all black because that blue is light enough and work on a light. So they might honestly be just a simple. It might yeah. work. It would be an improvement. Eh. If you want to continue the splinter hot camo. takes, just, if you want to continue splinter the camo. hot takes, Boom. Kevin. Matt, what of do you course. think about IndyCar? And the fact that they keep trying to run tracks like Phoenix, which are just going to be nothing more than uh, aero push fests, simply because uh, in the modern era of aerodynamics, those short tracks will never work. Now, see, if you follow the IndyCar preseason testing, uh, the uh, the uh, Phoenix preview, as they uh, like to call it, the, the aero push wasn't the issue. The drivers were complaining about an overall lack of stability when following other cars, especially losing the rear end. So that's something to pay attention to, look forward to in the upcoming season. Now that said, obviously you are fighting the laws of physics and, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I want Phoenix to work, although I don't necessarily have the highest hopes, but yeah, maybe when it's actually race time, things will get a little bit better. But I think we won't see better racing at tracks like Phoenix and, you know, potentially going back to, for example, Milwaukee, even though that's a dead end. And I know it's a dead end, but the history makes me want it to work. You're not going to see better racing until you see cars that are going really slow relative to the guys at the front of the field, which you're just not going to see in this current formula and style of IndyCar. Rip old one mile tracks is the TLD. Pretty much. Well, it, it doesn't help that Phoenix got NASCARized. Yeah, uh, one of the one of the problems with Phoenix, I've always thought, is that, and I think if you, I know you've run it in the sim, is that turn one went from being like a legitimate corner to where now it's just like it's an exaggerated kink, pretty much the line you run through it. Yeah, it's really and the then... best way. It's how turn one feels. Like if turn one was actually a corner, it might work, but it's just literally. Like turn one, honestly, at Phoenix feels like taking the kink at Road America to me. Like it's it's a hilariously similar the way you have to take it. Uh, I don't I don't know if I, I mean they're similar. It's an exaggeration, but but at, but, but at the same time, the the problem is that the corner just isn't slow enough, so you don't have to back out because I mean turn three is going to be flat because you're yeah. racing a car that's got you know four thousand pounds of downforce. 
you know so it's like you're going to go through there flat out but you got to get back into their into the place where you actually have an opportunity to pass going into turn one and there's just not enough track to make that all work although i will say it, it does seem pretty odd that we think about you know indycar and lack of passing on on the you know short tracks you know for example milwaukee although we do forget that Sebastian Bourdais like lapped the frigging field at Milwaukee. So, well, and not to mention, uh, Paul Tracy once lapped the field twice at Phoenix and then wrecked and lost the race. Well, I'm talking recent here, <laughs> but I feel I feel like that Paul Tracy wreck should always be a recent memory. That's that's quite the choke right there. Um, see, I what mean, Paul what Tracy other... in general, man. You know, what other, racing what legend. Other... What other IndyCar hot takes we can get? What do you think of the? What do you think about the fighter jet canopy? I think it looks pretty good. Um, I, 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 you know, I threw this out on my Twitter here, and and I, I seriously think here, you know, here's a here's a hot take bleeding edge for you. You know, Verizon's going away. There's going to be a new title series sponsor. You know, in 2019, you know, PPG you got the history and everything. You got this new fangled thing coming up. That's you know got a lot of people talking. There's a lot of good positive buzz. I think it's going to work out. There's 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 a chance that it could be the PPG Cup once again. But uh, you know, I think it's actually quite interesting. I mean, you know, head protection is something that we're going to need to accept, even if we don't necessarily like it as fans. But as long as it's done the right way, you know. Honestly, what's that to like? Uh, you know, honestly, it does kind of look a little bit derpy on the car. Uh, but that was the first version that they showed, and there's going to be changes and evolutions to it. So, I don't know. It, it, I thought it looked okay. Like I don't hate it. I don't think it makes the car look better, but I don't hate it. And you know, because of the safety aspect, you know, I have not a problem with it. Yeah, the, the issue why it looks goofy is I think you're right. It just wasn't designed for it. Whereas people have done renderings where okay, this is what a car might look like if it was designed with a cam a canopy. And I am fully in support of open wheel cars that look like friggin' fighter jets and F-16s and F-22s. They just oh yeah, uh, especially I mean, especially when you talk about indie car. I mean, you go back to the to the nineties and in particular, you know, they looked like legitimate two hundred and forty plus mile an hour land missiles, even sitting still. Whereas <laughs> you look at even the 2018 bodywork for the Indy car, it's like, yeah, it looks like it's fast. It looks like it's in motion, even sitting still, but it doesn't look like it does 240 miles an hour plus <laughs> sitting still. You know what's funny that I just realized? This current like windshield thing heavily like resembles the first iteration of the Delta Wing, which was started out as an Indy car concept because it had a similar windshield thing going on. Broadcasting live. Did Matt, Matt will remember these. I, 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 I Kevin's remember the, like, what are you talking about? But I remember, I the, remember Delta when wing. the Delta Wing was initially an IndyCar. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I, re I remember yeah. when they said that may be the new, the future of IndyCar. And it, the, the tail fin looked like really goofy on it, yeah. like, like really weird for some reason. I, I don't remember a windshield, but. I try not to remember that thing too terribly well because the only thing that Delta Wing should be remembered for is uh, Le Mans in 2012, I think it was, 2011. That's all that it should be remembered for. Over and done with right then and there. See, I thought the, the initial version of the Delta Wing was very interesting, and then it got Panos pretty hard. It probably would have looked better with the the one that they unveiled as the indie car if they would not have gone with that like metallic gray paint that they used, yep. which just kind of made it look like kind of lumpy for lack of a better term. See, I even but I even liked the the one that ran like at Le Mans and then at IMSA, like the the V one that was black. Yeah, that I always thought was super interesting. It was the like later versions that had like the closed cockpit and it looked like a big like male genitalia driving around that like completely ruined it yeah once they made it a closed cockpit but you know the thing that kind of got me was the concept was you know low drag low weight you know therefore faster in a straight line and all that and that's what it was and that's supposed to be how it was going to make the lap time but then towards the end of it there's the indicator they, concept they started adding in all of the arrow bits and everything that they took off the car to get the drag off the car so it's like what are you doing <laughs> which i think was the uh concept of the uh nissan gtr lm 
Nismo, whatever the heck it was, which if you remember that, they were supposed to run that thing potentially without a rear wing, and then that failed to materialize if that was ever even a possibility. And it's like, darn it, I wanted to see a race car racing without a wing. Yeah, that's that's the biggest regret I have of the GTLM because I would have I would have rather seen them being give it a fair effort and it not work than them to just be like have the plug pulled the way it did. Now I understand why they pulled the plug because, because they built a front wheel drive prototype. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to see that work so bad because everyone said yeah, it wasn't going to work. But I looked at it and I was like I wonder. I think that has like an outside shot of potentially being viable at Le Mans if nowhere else. Yeah, I if think... there's anywhere that would work, it would work at Le Mans simply for the aerodynamic factors. It wouldn't work at Spa. It wouldn't work at Silverstone. That would be an entirely a one-off Le Mans special, and I would adore that. But it died. And then it came out slow as a P2. Well, they didn't have the uh, ERS or whatever they called it running. Like it was like the hybrid yeah, stuff. Yeah, the was hybrid up, wasn't hybriding. Was, yeah, so you had like however many hundred pounds just hanging off the car, doing literally nothing. Mm-hmm. And plus, I think that was how it was supposed to end up being all-wheel drive through the hybrid mm-hmm. system, rather than just the internal combustion driving the front end or front wheels. So, bit of a pooper there. And then they fired everyone on Christmas Eve. <laughs> that will be the long thing that I remember from that program. It's funny to think about, like. I remember when that Nissan got announced, everyone was like, oh my god, LMP1's like taking off. Dude, and Super that was, Bowl like, ad. That was like the first manufacturer that like started the downfall of LMP1. Man, I, I, I'm not even joking. Like, I was so hyped for it. Like, Wait, wait, wait. They you, said... we, we, you have to say big game. So, Kevin, you're going to have to bleep that. Oh, uh, yeah, and yeah. you have to say big game. There, there was, you know, the commercials during Superb the Superb Owl. Game. During yes, the and, uh, Superb uh, Owl. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> that subreddit makes me as, as someone who uh, does graphic designs and you know signage like that and that ah, type so of stuff. That's what you do. Yeah, yeah, I've said that before. Yeah. Well, I should have you to uh, make my why me emote, right? I, mm, but uh, <laughs> some money, give him a couple hundred bucks, dude. I'm more than willing. I, I like I like my emote though. Questions. Oh, like uh, I just dodged that question. I noticed she had the uh, racing on it on a team Wednesday night transit. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. As well as what car I drove. That was in a introversion. That was in a prior segment, which may even be in a different show at this point. So grown up dodging questions the way Neo dodges bullets in the Matrix. You're you're referencing a different segment, which may be on a different show, but it may be even in the future. So yeah, exactly. I mean. It sounds like for that's a reference the, uh, to the viewers, we're gonna kill the immersion here, and I'm sorry about your immersion. But don't we, break down the fourth podcast, podcast wall. <laughs> the fourth podcast wall with empty box. The the box isn't actually empty, guys. There isn't actually. I a mean, box at all. the name is a reference to Metal Gear we should, Solid. Yeah, we should. I, mean, I think you should change your name to to Tactical Cardboard. I mean, that should be your name. That used to be my channel. Yeah, name exactly. Is, uh, so that should be your name. Yeah. Okay, man. Uh, I want another. I want another hot take. Help oh my god, another hot take? Uh, whose idea was oh, it to host? For Skip whose Davis? idea was it to have you guys on the podcast? How pissed off do you get at the people whenever you join a session and they're like, oh hey, uh, hey guys, I'm Empty Box. And oh, how, how much does that annoy you? <laughs> now, this, that was an interview question, Randy. <laughs> and we're, we're not in the interview right now. Yeah, so but I but, about but I want podcast him, host. but I want him. I want I want the hot take where he shits on all his viewers. Please, that. please. What's going yeah, on, Gates? If you do that, what's stop. going on, Gates? <laughs> like really? Like how can you claim to be a fan but you get it so horribly wrong when I've said the same thing in like probably like five hundred videos at this point? Like, I start every show with hello everybody nobody has ever said that to me they say why me randomly but nobody has ever said hello everybody yes well that's because matt is what you would call famous famous yeah they always 10 times the subscribers i do yep not bad for an empty brain empty books i mean it just it boggles the mind (laughs) that like you know who i am enough that like you see my name in the in the relative box or whatever, join in a race, but yet you 
don't actually know the one thing that you think you know when it's the simplest thing to know about my freaking videos. So Ugh. that's what you guys that we, that's what you guys have to think about. One, it really annoys Matt when you say it wrong. Now, does that mean you should stop saying it wrong? Wait, but how I'll, do you, I'll let you work with that information? In general. Hold, hold on, but what's the right way to say it? I think it's like a, I think it's like an it homage. An empty box. It's a homage. And today... It's not, but that's you can't say it in a regular voice. What's going on, guys? This is empty box, and today I'm gonna race. Well, right, you have it to doesn't have, work like that. You have you gotta, to have like what's going on, geez? You you need to have a certain level. Of energy, I'm an Italian chef like, over here. Like, hey, what's like, going on, guys? Energy, it's like I don't give a bleep. Energy. That's the sort of energy you need. Hey, the best family, energy. family show, family show. Okay, the I really don't give a bleep. That's the. <laughs> 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 no, it's not a really family show, but. Matt, comment. I find it amazing that he uh, managed to uh, not call the Delta Wing coupe what uh, the Delta Wing coupe looks like. What, but, like a giant wang? But, yeah, Q, he just Q you know, Austin drops Powers four sketch? words in there, you know? <laughs> right. I mean, what's the difference? It's okay, Matt. They'll forgive me, unless they don't, in which case. I'll hey, guys, you did you know the race. inside of a race car is called a cockpit? <laughs> oh, my God, Kevin. Tell me more. It's actually in my kid's uh, race car book. Uh, there's, actual, there's actually a page that says the inside of a race car is called the cockpit. This so is what's I, wrong with America's children. Yeah. They need to be told that it's a cockpit. Yeah, he asked my this kid. This is the sort of my things kid, that lead to Trump being elected. My kid, he asked, like, uh, well, uh, why is this uh, car racing at night? Well, because, because sprint, sprint car cars race at Sprint cars race at night, honey. Why? Because people have jobs, and then they go to the sprint car race after the job. Why? Just read the damn book, kid. <laughs> building, wow. Building the fan base of, of America. He basically America. goes like, well, why come the drivers on this page aren't racing? I'm like, because it says, good morning race car drivers. They're not racing yet. Because they're a bunch of sissies who aren't doing endurance racing with 24-hour day-night cycle. Yeah. It does say... Um, circuit days fall off Franker Champs. It, it does say, like... Davilo, Antarctica. It says, um, go stock cars racing in the Daytona 500, right? And then you, like, turn the page for a couple more. And then it says, here are the greatest racers ever racing in the, in the Indianapolis 500. The greatest race in the world. Can confirm, and it's like, oh, geez, no love for the stock cars. So, uh, and I mean, the only do, thing. Do you see any? Do you see any stock car races within the Triple Crown? Hmm. 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 You getting that sweet, sweet Fernando Alonso bump going on? Austin Dillon <laughs> said he had two more jewels left. Yeah, because Austin Dillon doesn't know anything other than NASCAR, quite clearly. I mean, let's be real. We're talking Indy 500, Wilma, Monaco, or Formula One World Championship. There's Josh no just, Josh just messaged me and asking if you're really joining the team, Matt. What should I tell him? That's three segments ago on a different show. Okay, well, he's messaging me on Facebook. What do you want me to do about this? All right, Matt, you're on the spot. You know, I, This I, show I, has gone totally off the rails. It's episode two. What was that? I'm driving through a tunnel. I can't quite hear. Josh wants to know if he can be a guest. I'm I'm sorry you're breaking up these tunnels we have in Iowa through these mountains. Wait, hold on, hold on. You want to bring Josh in here? Is that what you, are you serious, Randy? I just told him that Matt's introversion is crippling his potential, giving his given his talent. That's all. Hold on, J J Josh, Josh can if... Josh can come in here and we can talk to Randy. Right, we just have to start. We have to start a, a, a new segment. Yet another new segment. Yeah, the... I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do I'm, I'm gonna do another Rutgers Kev interview, and now we're gonna interview you about why why are you an introvert? And I'm not gonna get any sleep. And my kids are gonna wake up at four in like, the morning. Some sort of psychic. Do you need the information, Randy? The no, I got it. Josh is on his way. 
This is going to be such a cluster. Beep. You've 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 given me so much more You're work the in the one editing. Who said okay. You're the one who said okay. No, it, just in the editing of that this. That sounds a lot like your problem. Uh, actually, because of that, I'm actually going to start a new recording. This is an hour and 46 minutes already. And we're back. So if you haven't been able to tell by the two hours I've put out so far, Randy, Matt, and I go way back. And uh, we're just friends. You know, We're not uh, guys that hang out every day on TV Speak, but, I mean, we're friends. And when I'm with my friends, I like to ball bust. So I did a lot of ball busting in that part. But it's all in good fun. Uh, these guys know I'm just ball busting. That's just what I do. So if I came across as a jerk there, I apologize. But I kind of, you know, that's just how I am when I'm with my friends. And anybody who's friends with me understands uh, if they really can't put up with it, they're just not my friend, basically. Uh, that's how that works. So, spoiler alert, there's actually a part four to all this. It's a interview with the King of Chins, Joshua Chin. You can find him on YouTube at King of Chins. And it's going to be relevant because he should make top split of the Indy 500. So next week, I'm going to talk about how I'm doing the double Indy 500, Coke 600. We're going to talk about how the Indy 500 went. We'll definitely have Randy on for that one. We might even have Will Vincent. I'm crossing my fingers we'll be able to get him because he loves the Indy 500. Um, and Joshua should be in the top split. Now, I'm recording this on a Thursday night, um, so we still got a couple more days of qual left. Um, right now, he's in the field. And, but the uh, qualifying is so close, it's really hard to tell. You know who else is right on the bubble? I think he's 39th right now is Randy. So Randy may also be in the top split of the Indy 500. A very, very exciting stuff. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode of Records Kev Show, where we're going to talk about the Indy 500. And uh, if it doesn't go too long, just flat out talking about what happens in the Indy 500, which means everything went according to plan and there wasn't any major screw-ups. Then we'll also play the interview with the King of Chins, Joshua Chin. Okay, but for now... Uh, that's the end of my show. Donk.